what's up everybody welcome back to another video and this video is going to be different it's going to be about the future of this channel i say that because if you guys haven't heard kappa or children's online privacy protection act is going to change youtube forever so basically in my understanding they're going to take away personalized advertisements towards kids they're gonna do this by telling us the content creators to mark their videos and or channel as either made for kids or not made for kids if we set our channel or videos to made for kids we lose a handful of YouTube features such as comments being able to have your video recommended, being able to have it saved to playlists. I think um, it not being able to be searched and people who make money off of these personalized ads are now going to get a 90% decrease in ad revenue. This is gonna be detrimental because a lot of topics out there on YouTube include uh, kid like things so basically uh, toy reviews game reviews uh, family vlog shows etc are going to suffer the consequences of of this COPPA act some of these consequences that these content creators are going to suffer is not being able to make content at all. Some creators, their full-time job is YouTube. So once they lose that ad revenue, what are they gonna do? Uh, a lot of people are not gonna have their videos recommended or able to be searched. And there's many other consequences that I don't really have the time to go over right now, but I'll leave uh, a link in the description to a few videos that maybe can explain it better than I can. The other option you have is to set your video or channel to not made for kids. Doing it this way, you get to keep all of your YouTube features and you still have personalized ads. The only downside is coming January 1st, which I think is the date that they are going to put this into effect, they're gonna do periodic sweeps throughout all of YouTube videos and determining whether or not themselves, whether or not your videos are made for kids or not. So if they feel like your video is for kids and you set it to not for kids, you can get fined and sued uh, $43,000 per video. So by them doing that, they are holding us content creators accountable when the YouTube company should be held accountable. So COPPA and or the YouTube company provided a list of factors to consider when deciding if your video or channel is made for kids or not. Here's the list on screen. As you can see, it's very, very vague. So the list says subject matter of the video uh, if children are the intended audience which technically doesn't even matter because if the federal whatever whatever whoever's in charge of that if they feel our videos are made for kids they're gonna they're gonna decide that's what it is so that point I just read doesn't even matter uh, if it includes child actors or models that's almost every video if it includes characters, celebrities, or toys, 
that appeal to children, again, almost every video, if it uses language that is meant for children to understand, if it includes activities that appeal to children, or if it includes songs, stories, or poems that appeal to children. Um, a lot of these that appe appeal to children also appeal to adults. So as a content creator, let's say there's a gaming channel and they play and review this certain game. Well, obviously children are going to find that uh, appealing, but adults are also, which is what that channel was originally created for, adults. So there's a lot of contradicting factors. Um, again, the links that I'm going to provide in the description will go into greater depth that I could even explain. There is a little bit of hope, though. The FTC, or the Federal Trade Commission, is giving us content creators and, I guess, viewers also, uh, up to December 9th to, to give them feedback and or sign an online petition of, of things to consider before putting the COPPA Act into, into place. I already signed it and provided my reason, as you guys have seen on my Facebook and Instagram, but I will leave that uh, petition page link in the description also, so you guys can go and support the cause of saving content creators, um, and you guys should share that as well. So with all that being said, um, I'm still not 100% sure what the future of this channel will be because on the one hand it's not made for kids but on the other hand there's some factors in my video that they may try and say it's for kids such as uh, recently the little animations I did for the Halloween video intro they might consider that for kids it, just little stuff like that that's tedious, so I'm not sure whether to mark my videos as for kids or, or not for kids. If I said it for kids, I'm safe uh, from any fines or suing, etc. But my videos won't be recommended. You guys can't comment if you want to. Um, and you guys can't add it to playlists if you want to and probably some other stuff. But if I do send it or set it as uh, not for kids, then I run that risk of potentially getting fined and sued come January 1st. What I will probably do right now for the time being is to set my channel as for kids. I'll probably have it set at this setting until uh, we hear further information on the COPPA Act and the FTC and if they took our comments and petition into consideration. Uh, hopefully they come up with a better solution such as making kids use the YouTube Kids app, which is why they have it, and that'll save everybody a pain. Um, could only hope for the best. As far as if they don't take our petition and comment into uh, consideration, I will probably still upload videos. Or first, I'll, I'll still upload videos, set it back to uh, not for kids, but it'll probably, probably be the most boringest thing ever because uh, any little detail can be used by the FTC to, to, to claim that my video is made for kids. So if I don't if I don't do animations and colored lights and etc then they can't get me. You know what I mean? But I don't know. I don't know. It's it's kind of a back and forth thing. So let me know what you guys think I should do. Um 
you let me know in the comments. Hit me up on the gram or message me on Facebook. Uh, what should I do right now? How should I proceed in the future? Any advice would be great. Again, I left uh, the links to more in-depth videos in the description below and also a link to sign the online petition and leave a comment to support content creators and child-friendly content. Anyways, that's, that's it for today's video. Um, it's probably not what you guys wanted to see or hear, but I'm just letting you guys know you know what's going on if you haven't heard already and uh i wish this video was more happier but it is what it is but uh thank you for watching anyways have a great rest of your day